Hey there, guys. We're now going to be going back to Deus, as I'm told his name is pronounced, with a water party. So this one, we're not going to use any NeoVisions Plus units whatsoever. Um, does that mean it's a budget run? Judge for yourself. But uh, this party should comfortably overcap as well. So we're going to be using Sophie as our leader with Aang and Chow and Roos to deal all the damage, Metsy for the breaker, and Ilmatil for the killers. Let's get in here and give it a go. Turn chart will be in the comments. Hopefully I remember to show the gear at the end this time. Uh, the previous video I forgot, but I posted a comment with, um, with all the gear in, in a picture. Anyway, so for turn one for this party, we're going to just guard Ilmatil, Aang, and Ruse because we don't need them on turn one. We're going to use Sophie to do incremental spell <coughs> for the light resist buff. Uh, we're going to use Metsy to hetch you on turn one. That's going to auto cast um, 89 breaks on turn four, which is when we're going to kill. Then we're going to do, we should get this started to do uh, some breaks on turn one. And then Chow is going to triple cast. We'll do Bar Waterja for the general mitigation and then Shelga and Protecta. Okay, so some AOE damage on turn one. It should overall be minor. And then everyone is using 30% or better light resist along with uh, the light resist buff. We're immune to that. So there we go, and we got dispelled. So now we're going to just reload Chow and have him do Bar, Water, Jeff, Protect, and Shell yet again. For this turn, there's going to be a double AoE physical. We're going to use Ilmatil to Mirage one of them. The second one's going to just hit the party. Not that big a deal. Uh, let's see. Metsy will do Adventurer's Blood. You're the one that should be praying, and then fill LB. Sophie on this turn is going to do Jade Moon Pendant. Like the previous video, if you don't have the Jade Moon Pendant, gear your party for status immunity and you'll be fine. But you're going to have to use gear for it. Um, we're going to not use gear. We're going to use a limited item. Um, Roos on this turn will do, because Sophie was busy, Roos will do Light Resist from Alexander for the 70% buff. That's from an Esper. And then Aang on this turn will just do Clear Sun for the stat buff, LB buff, etc. <clears throat> okay, so some more damage. Uh, we're immune to the light damage. The physical damage will hit the party, but as you can see, pretty minor. Now, the boss dispelled himself this turn. Now, we're not going to break the boss on this turn, meaning if you don't negate all the damage and you don't break the boss, it's going to hurt really badly. We're going to negate all the damage so it's fine. So because of that, Metsy's going to spend his turn doing Tybus' Spirit just for a tiny bit more damage. If you're not using Roos and you don't have Double Mirage this turn, you're going to want to break the boss, in which case use Metsy to break again and you'll be fine. But we're going to use Roos to triple cast in this order, Amplify, Dragon Sword Dance for the Double Mirage, and then Lend Me Your Strength for his Focus. We're going to use Chow. We're going to kill next turn, by the way. So Chow is going to quad cast. We're going to do Malediction for the Amplify. Ocean Magic for the Party Amp. Our Sophie's only EX1, so she can't do an AUE Amp yet. So we'll just do Chow's 60%. It's fine. So Chow's Amp, Fluffy Watchdog, and then in Wartiga to imbue the party. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's see here. Aang is going to triple. We're going to do Rolling Mist for the field, Awaken Divinity for the mod buff, and his 150 Amplify with Placid Concentration. Sophie's going to get ready to kill next turn. We're going to do I'm going to stop you. Uh, nope, nope, I'm wrong. We're going to do, do that last. Cause that's her focus. So make sure that's the last action. We're going to do As My Parent's Daughter. Um, we got my turn chart over here. What does she do again? As my parents' daughter, incremental spell. Or if you're EX2 Sophie, then do her amplify instead of the spell. But we're going to do that. And then I'm going to stop you as the last action. And then Ilmatil will do some machine killer. So we're going to do machine rune on Chow and Aang. So this turn, we negated all the damage, so even though we didn't re-break the boss, it's going to be fine. But remember, if you're not using 
uh, complete, complete immunity on this turn, you really want to break the boss's attack and magic. So this turn, as you can see, uh, Metsy auto-casted the 89 breaks, so we're good. Now as far as the Imperil goes, Metsy's going to be the first one clicked with his SLB, and that'll be a 160 Imperil. I guess his SLB auto-breaks as well, but whatever. Uh, so Sophie is going to shift here and do the shift at LB, and then Roos will do his SLB. Now the whole back row is Bolting Strike. Uh, before we do anything though, Ilmatil will Machine Killer on Sophie and Roos. Unfortunately, Metsy is left out with a killer. Oh well. Chow SLB and Aang SLB. So we're going to go ahead and chain the back row first, clicking Metsy first in the turn order so we can get that big in peril. We're going to wait like half a second and then send Chow and Aang, who are also uh, each, each Extreme Novas. So there we go. Wait, wait, wait. Send the front row. And that should hopefully be a 24.5 or better. I'm pretty sure it will be. Let's find out. And that'll be a nice perfect score with no Neo pluses and um, uh, this party. Whatever, you get the idea. 34.5, so there we go. So I'll go ahead and show you the gear real quick before I forget. Um, Ilmatil, is, the whole party is using 30% or better light resist. Um, Ilmatil is way more because, you know, whatever. Uh, and then just some bulk if you can fit it, especially in on shifted forms. Uh, you know, thousand needles, the only the only really important thing there. Uh, Chow is using right here, he's got seventy, he's got thirty or better light resist, uh, some chain speed, maxed out machine killer, and then his own card. Aang has thirty or better light resist, uh, maxed out machine killer, and there you go, and then you know, you know the best card you own for him. Uh, Metsy, 30 or better light resist. We're using Titus's garb for the modifier buff. Uh, Titus's spirit for the modifier buff. Again, if you don't have these, his damage is very low. Who cares? Uh, and then the water card. And then there it is. Uh, Sophie, in the base form, is uh, the whoopsie. Not using light resist. Thankfully, the damage is relatively low in the, the beginning of the fight. So, Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, that, that's her shift form. Yeah, her base form. We're good. We're good. Her base form, yeah, had 30% light resist. I'm sorry. It did. And then Jade Moon Pin. I forgot she was already shifted. Uh, and then just some bulk. Some bulk. And then a card. Uh, shift form, there it is. It's just pure damage. So Machine Killer and, uh, you know, Dark Vision Gerard, all the fun stuff. Mine's only EX1. Don't have the STMR. Don't have the big Amplify, but it was fine. And then Roos, 30 or better light resist, uh, you know, dual wheel build, the typical, maxed out machine killer. Uh, he's on Alexander, so there it is. And there's the gear. I'll show you the damage breakdown. Turn chart will be in the comments. So there is the water clear. Kind of the budget clear, not really, but it had no Neo pluses, so kind of kind of counts, right? Anyway, perfect score. And there's the damage breakdown. So Ang is the big boy damage here. Uh, Chow honestly got a very low roll. Chow usually does pretty close to Ang's damage. That's a very unfortunate roll right there. Uh, Roos, you know, good damage as well. Sophie, only EX1. And then Metsy, you know, he broke for us. <laughs> so there we go. Perfect score with the water party. Okay, now I'm going to work on some other elements. See you in a bit.